Aida, I don't want my daughter and her partner to bring their dog at Christmas. I don't hate dogs, but I do have a degree of allergy to them. When I go to a house where there are dogs I become tight-chested over a couple of hours, even without interacting with them directly. In addition to this, we have recently redecorated our lounge at considerable expense with new flooring, sofas and chairs and we have many small items displayed at all levels, some of which are quite fragile, although I appreciate these could be moved. My daughter and partner have a dog which is good-natured but extremely lively, manic really, and I am happy for it to visit us in the summer when we can all sit outside and it can expend its energy in our large garden. However they want to bring it on Christmas morning and I do not want it running amok whilst we are opening presents and having a good time. There is no chance that it would just sit quietly, so one of them would need to be on constant guard keeping it under control, which, honestly I think they would fail to do, likely making it a tense time for all. I have put my foot down and said that if they must bring the dog it will have to stay in the car for a couple of hours, not an option, it hates the car, or in a cage in the utility room. Again not an option apparently. Needless to say this is causing a lot of friction, and my wife, even though she agrees with my reasons for not wanting the dog in the lounge, says I am driving a wedge between the family. Note that they live about half an hour away and are going on from us to other family members who are more dog-friendly, so they could leave it at home in the morning and pick at it before lunch without it being a huge journey, but they are not prepared to do this either. Am I being totally unreasonable? NTAI have two small dogs, and would never expect them to be invited into someone's home. The only two homes they visit regularly are my Mill, Phil and Sil, Bill homes because they are invited. My Mill does say she only allows dogs because we force them on her, Sil, Bill have one dog, but she is also the first to ask where they are if we do leave them behind. She's also the first to ask if we're going to order anything for the dogs when we go out to eat, so we know she's only teasing. If she ever asked us not to bring them we wouldn't, it's as simple as that. It's her home, we don't need a reason more than that. NTA. My Borther has a dog that he brings to my parents' house when we have family dinners all together, every two weeks. However the dog is not allowed at my home and if I leave for vacation and my parents babysit my cats while I am away the dog is also not brought to their house because he attacks the cats. It has never caused an issue. It's called respect. Either way, it is your home and if you do not want their pet in your home you are allowed. They are being as entitled as people with children when others say child-free weddings etc. It's an animal, it can stay at their home for a few hours while they come to yours for dinner and to open presents. If it's your home, NTA. Not everyone likes dogs not to mention the degree at which individuals socialize their dogs is vastly different. I would understand if the dog was trained but obviously the dog would not only cause you health problems but it would also cause you mental problems. You have offered solutions to the problem and if they refuse, I say let them skip the event and try again later. NTA. I am a dog person. If someone doesn't want me bringing my dog to their property, I say, okay then. Everyone is entitled to enforce their own boundaries in their own home. If they are only half an hour away, they could pop back for a little bit to let the dog out if they are at yours for a long period of time. Given that they will only be at yours a few hours, it's fine to leave the dog for that period. NTA are unreasonable. I have a similar allergy and don't allow dogs in my house for an extended period of time like that. In the summer as you mentioned, no problem. But running around and getting fur and everything else everywhere to the point you have to do a deep clean after they leave is a problem. The dog will be fine for a couple of hours by himself at home or kenneled in a utility room that is easier to clean.